In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your first application to HP Helium Staccato. I have HP Helium Staccato installed in a virtual box, and I also have Git installed. If you want to know more on how to do this, you can check out the previous video. The steps we're going to take are, first, we're going to download the Staccato client, then we're going to clone a sample from GitHub, and then finally, we're going to push the application. First, I'm going to navigate to the web console, which is the URL shown in the virtual box. From the web console, I'm going to choose support and then download client. You can see the clients are available for different platforms and I'm going to go ahead and download the client for the Mac. The client will have downloaded into the downloads folder on my Mac. And what I need to do is copy the staccato file from the folder into a folder that is already in my path. I already have the bin folder in my path. So if I copy it there, I should be able to run the staccato command with something like dash dash version um, and get back the version number. The next thing we want to do is clone a sample application to deploy. Once that's down, we can have a look at the files. You can see it's just a Ruby application and there is a manifest.yaml file. And this manifest.yaml file is going to explain to staccato how to deploy our application. It's got things like the name, memory, how many instances, and so on. We'll dig more into manifest files in a later video. The next thing we want to do is go and connect the command line up with our cluster. So we do staccato target. Next thing we want to do is log in using our username and password. And then finally, we want to do a staccato push minus n. Minus n basically uses all the defaults. It won't ask us any questions. And that will go ahead and deploy the application. Once our application is deployed, we can flip back to the web console and have a look at our application. If we click on the app, we can see some basic summary information and we can go ahead and view the app and that will take us to the running application. We'll dig a lot more into the web console and other things in later videos. 